That's a really good question. That? Really good question. Should you resent and, and hate your former self, your younger self? I've done a lot of like deep thinking on this topic. You know, I, I made this character, Jeffrey. And for a long time, I thought, yeah, we should like make fun of him. You know, Jeffrey's the bad kid or whatever. And then something hit me where I realized like Jeffrey isn't even the bad person. Jeffrey's just our younger selves who it wasn't his fault that there was hyper stimulated porn available. It wasn't his fault that there's extremely processed palatable food that triggers his primal nervous system that forms the addiction. It was never Jeffrey's fault. So to hate your younger self, I think only comes from a lack of understanding because it can instantly, you can get a little boost right now, right? If you wanted to go work out and you didn't feel motivated, look at that picture and start swearing or something you might, you might do right. Cause hate does is a great motivator. And I won't say to just cut it out. I won't say to just, you know, not be aggressive because those things really do work, but maybe you're aiming it at the wrong person. Maybe it's not your younger self who was simply just a kid who listened to the authority figure, the doctor, the psychologist who, who told you the wrong things. Maybe it's not the kid who was in the wrong, who you should hate, who you should feel for aggression. Maybe it's the other people. Maybe it is the, the people who made the shit food. Maybe it's the, the doctors who put you on this treatment that hurt you. The porn companies, the, the only fans girls who was, do you know what I mean? It's, was it you 12 year old boy who didn't really know what was going on with them, who just simply wanted help or was it the adults? who knew what they were doing. Certainly not. You're still going to take responsibility 100%. We have to. Yeah. But if you're going to use hate as a motivator, you turn it inwards and you start, yeah, sure, you can go and do some push-ups right now. Nice. But you start to like feel dark inside, but you turn it outwards you still get that ability to, you know, burst into some push-ups right now and go fast right now, but it's directed, in my opinion, in a more healthy way. And, you know, the most enlightened person will say that we should hate no one and we should just let go and stuff. I'm not there yet. I still get a huge benefit from using hate and aggression towards other people, not on them. I don't hurt people, but certainly I've got some dark thoughts about some <laughs> You know, that's why I'm hitting a PR thinking about a few people, right? Of course I am. And it works. And having been someone who I've kind of hated myself and I saw myself as less, I find that actually you make more progress the more you love and accept yourself. Because if there's going to be one guy who looks after you, it's not even your brother, your father, or, or me, or anyone else. It's, it's yourself. If you can't be your own best friend, if you, like, you know, all you'll have is your mind. If I want you to imagine the situation, kind of like Andrew Tate, you can have all the money, all the women and everything, but someone can put you in a cell. Someone can take everything away from you. Every one of your family members can die. Your, your country can go into a war. There's only one thing that you have total control over, which is your mind. So inside of your mind, do you want it to be belittling, shameful, hateful towards yourself? Because if you imagine yourself in that, that dark cell that they've put you in and you've got nothing else, all you have is your mind. You're going to hope that your mind is on your side. You said your younger self set you up for a worse life. How? Mm. Your younger self wasn't very productive. Why wasn't he? Would it have been easy for him to be productive and disciplined or did he have a lot of shit? Can you really blame him? Can you visualize that version of yourself? Maybe walking through the house, his size, his height, like he's a, a separate person, like he's your, your younger brother. The thoughts he was having, the he was going through, the way people used to speak to him and treat him in school and those moments with his parents. If he was your younger brother, how would you treat him? <laughs> 